Is that better? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Alwara. Yeah. Mark. Okay, next to stopping Alwara. Here's the question, Alwara, what we're asking people is, where are you from, by the way? Spain. Spain. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right, that's good. Um, so, Alwara, the, the question we're asking people is, what do you think happens to you after you die? I think that I will go to heaven, or to hell, because I'm Christian, Catholic. So, yeah, I think that God will judge all of us, and we will see. So, would you say you're guaranteed to go there? I don't guarantee to be there, but I hope to be there. Do you think there's a standard by which you can get, you know, like a standard for university, to get into university, or criteria? Do you think there's a criteria to get into heaven? Yeah, I think there is a criteria, because nobody, not everyone can go there. You have to be a good person, be good with everyone, and that kind of things. You know, not, for example, a terrorist couldn't go there, because they are not... They, have, they are not good with other people, they are not kind with other people. So do you think you're a good person? Yeah, I try my best to be a good person. Okay, so this is called the good person test. Okay, the Bible gives us a good person test, it's called the Ten Commandments. Have you heard of the Ten Commandments? No. Because as a Christian, you never heard of the Ten Commandments? Maybe in Spanish. <laughs> Okay, it's called like, thou shall not kill, thou shall not... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you know those. There's ten of them. So I'll take you through four of them quickly, see how you do, all right? Uh, all right? It's okay. All right, have you ever told a lie? Yeah, I think that everyone has done it. Okay, what do you call somebody who tells a lie? A liar. Have you ever... Me too, I've done so. Have you ever stolen anything? I think that, uh, yeah, yeah, I think... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me too. What do you call somebody who steals? A uh, thief. Okay, here's the other one that got me. Jesus said, if you look at a woman with lust, sexual desire, that you committed adultery with her in your heart, even before the action, have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yeah, I think so. Guilty. I can see your conscience say you're kicking in. Okay, me too. That's called adultery. One more. Have you ever used God's name as a curse word, like OMG? Or I think I haven't done it. Or at, yeah, least I, at least I cannot remember it. Okay, okay, okay. I have, yeah, I'm guilty of that one. So, uh, Eduardo, yeah. by your own admission, you're a lying, thieving, adulterer at heart. And if God was to judge you by that standard on Judgment Day, would you be guilty or innocent? We will, will I think, yeah, because I have done it. But I think that always we have to think about it, and if it's bad, recognize it. I mean, say it's bad, mm. and we should. Uh, as for a forgive to somebody, yeah. So, Eduardo, if you were in Birmingham Crown Court up before the judge for lying, thieving, sexual sin, all these things, you broke on the law, and you say to the judge, Judge, I think you should forgive me, what do you think that judge would say? I think that if the judge is God, he forgives everybody. If they, are, if they feel the bad because of what they have done, I think that he should forgive me. Okay, you reckon? So he's, he's a lot better than the judge down here in Birmingham, yeah? So, um, okay, do you know, so the Bible says all liars, all thieves, all blasphemers, adulterers will have their part in the lake of fire, which burns forever and ever. Heavy stuff, you know, I wouldn't want you to go there. But do you know the good news? Can you tell me the good news as a Catholic of the Bible, what God's done for you, so you wouldn't have to face that place? God gave us the opportunity to be sorry about it and ask for a forgive. And they, how can I say it in English? He died for us, for, our, for all of our sins, so it's a different thing. Yeah. So, do you know the legal aspect of what's happened there on the cross? Sorry? The legal ramifications of what happened for you on the cross, do you know what they are? No. Okay, let me quickly explain it for you, because I know you got to go. We're in the courtroom, Birmingham, we're guilty for breaking the law. We've only been through four of the commandments, you know, there's another six that we've probably broken. The, the, the judge says, I'm going to put a £1 million fine on your life because you've broken the law. You can't pay your fine. Somebody comes into the courtroom and says, Judge, hold on. I love Adwara so much. He's cost me everything, but I'm going to pay his courtroom fine. So the judge looks at you and say, you're guilty, but you're free to go because your fine's been paid legally. That's what Jesus done for you 2,000 years ago when he was being whipped and crucified. He was paying your courtroom fine. 
based on the laws that you broke, he kept the Ten Commandments perfectly. So he's your legal representative in the courtroom waiting to dismiss your case. But as you said, you've got to repent, you've got to turn away from your sins and cling tightly to Jesus alone because only he suffered on your behalf. When was the last time you read a Bible? What, sir? When was the last time you read your Bible? In my Bible, I think it was last week, when, when I was praying, yeah. Okay. When, when did you have food last? When did you eat food? Um, half an hour ago. Yeah. Your Bible is your spiritual food, so we must eat it every day. Because if you stopped, if you didn't eat since last week, your body would start, you know? Yeah. So it's a good spiritual thing to keep on top of um, and to keep praying, you know? And so, you know, Jesus said you must be born again to enter heaven. It's not about traditions and praying to idols, praying to a man, confessing to a man, you know, cause, because Jesus says, call no man father, only one father in heaven. The Pope's not a father. It's just a title. You know, he's going to stand before the Lord and give an account for his life, just as you are, you know. So consider this, because you, you don't know when your death date is. You know, anything could happen to you tomorrow. So um, consider it, read your Bible, uh, and, and ask the Lord, all right? And I'll give you one of those. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Take care. We'll be praying for you. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you.